Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 23, Round of Applause! That, that, I think that goes down in history as the worst round of applause we have had in studio. Let's try that again. Round of applause, everybody! It's just bad. I guess we just, okay, no participation from the studio audience, but it's okay because we have you guys here. Guys, welcome back to the podcast. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in so long, but it's only been a week. It's only been a week time, but I miss you. We're like a family. The You Should Know podcast is growing expeditiously at a rapid pace. It's like, you know, right now you're at a roller coaster and, and, and you have the harness on your body and you're going up. It's just a clink, 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 clink. But there's no downward. We're not going down. God willing. We just keep going up. And that's thanks to you guys. The Discord... The Discord is popping right now. We got about a little over 300 people in there. If you want to be in the Discord, the link is below. It's like a big happy family in there. People are making friends. We're talking about trips. We're, there's exclusive content in there. But this episode's going to be a great one. We're gonna, we got a, as you know, last week we went to the weekend's concert. Amazing experience. I, I took a deep dive into it and I was like, because we'll talk about it later. Anyway, if you want to follow me on Instagram, we're almost at 10,000 followers followers on Instagram. Look, I think we're around a little over 8,000 now. This podcast between audio and visual, it gets about 10,000, right? Per per episode. So if if a fraction of you people that are not following me on Instagram, just go over and click that link in the bio and go follow me on Instagram. You see pretty pictures of Peyton. You would have saw Cam's wedding video. I posted that on my story. But if you're not following me on Instagram, you missed all that. You get exclusive stuff on there. You get to be a part of the podcast because we do um, video submissions over there on Instagram. You got to be following. We do questions in the DMs. Uh, you got to be following, though. Make sure to go follow me over on the Instagram at PSH8. Guys, you thought I forgot. I never do. If you're watching this right now and you look below you and you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're on. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name? Even more wrong. Even if you're in the Discord and you want to put the comments in into the Discord, that's fine. But we want them here too so we can show how strong the Discord army is, huh? How strong the Discord family is. Put that in there. And if you're not in the Discord, that's fine. If you just want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave a comment. I want to see you too. I love new faces. Guys, we got co-host Cam in studio He's here with the funnies. He's here with the stories. Let's go get into it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. The You Should Know Podcast. Fellas, fantasy football draft season is right around the corner. It's time to get your snake looking right for the snake draft with the sponsor of today's show, Manscaped. The leaders in below the waist grooming have created a championship lineup with their performance package 4.0. Join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for kickoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. I've told you this a thousand times before and I wouldn't tell you something if it wasn't true. I use Manscaped on a daily basis. It is a life saver for me. I have the Performance Package 4.0. It comes with so much. The Weed Whacker, the Lawnmower 4.0, the Ball Deodorant, the Ball Toner. I'm telling you, I smell pristine and and look even more pristine down below, if you know what I mean. Hey, we're all adults here. I'm just trying to help you out. So go to manscaped.com, get 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. I'm going to tell you one more time just in case you didn't hear it. Manscaped.com, 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. The link's in the description right now. Tell them Peyton sent you. You know how you can do that? Using code PSH at checkout. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the the podcast. All right, guys, we got co-host Cam back in the building. I miss you, buddy. Trying to trying to hug me. Well, I haven't I, I haven't seen you know. Viking, hug hug me. Viking or nothing. Three, two, one. All right, all right. Nothing. It is. Well, I, what's wrong with hugging me? I just, you know, I didn't know we were in medical terminology. I just didn't really want to. <laughs> interact with a corpse and a skeleton this early in the day so no i'm good i've just haven't se really. I, haven't, I haven't seen you in a while man i just didn't want to get a bone right in the middle of of my body from hugging you but it's okay yeah but i would have to grab hip if i was hugging you so we want to talk about bodies we can do it 
<laughs> Touche. Fair enough. I haven't seen you in a minute. The last time we 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 last weekend. Yeah, we went to the weekend's concert. Yes. Everybody has been asking Peyton, Cam, how'd the weekend concert go? How did you think it went? Well, first of all, thank you it to Alexis was, who uh yes. who got us thank the you, tickets. Alexis. It was crazy. It was okay, so that was my first like concert in a stadium, like full blown stadium tour concert, not like House of Blues or somewhere there's like two to four or five thousand people. Like we went to Jambalaya together and right. there's obviously probably the same amount of people that were at this concert, but it was like a huge open yeah, space. Yeah, four different stages. Like multiple stages, multiple vendors just walking around. But like this was like everyone was walking around at t Stadium. And then when it was time to go, every single seat was filled. It was it was insane. Let's start from the beginning because this is like this was my first concert. Okay. Something that pissed me off was not enough people knew who Snow Allegra was. Oh, you're going straight into it. I was going to talk about from the outside to the... Oh, that was awful too. Yeah. So we got there. We got there early because I have okay so anxiety this guy, about being late. I hate being late. I'm the type of person in airports too, and y'all can debate if you want, but I'm not gonna listen to it. So, <laughs> okay. you do not have to go to an airport three hours early. You don't have to, but it's the responsible thing to do. Why? It, it I just, have my ticket. I'm not going like if it's an international flight, that might be a little different. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, well, you never know how long the lines are. It's like I've never been waiting in a line. In an airport, longer than twenty minutes. How often do you? How often do you fly? Because I've been in some airports where TSA I've been lines on over, are unbelievable. I've been over, say I'd say twenty to twenty-five flights in my life. It's okay. not a ton, but it's not like six. Yeah. Okay. So you've never been in in an airport where the never TSA been line, in a TSA line is airport that a TSA line is longer than twenty minutes. So serious. And the longest line I've ever been in was twenty minutes, and it felt like a day. And it's never been longer than that. How okay then? How early do you get to the airport from your flight? I always, ha I'm typically flying with someone else. So I'm always there to like, we get through, I'm always there like two, two and a half hours. Okay. Early. Then ideally, I'm like, ideally when would you like to get there? If my flight for easy times, we'll say my flight leaves at 12 o'clock. Yep. Me personally, I have no problem pulling up to the airport at like 1030, 1045. Yeah. That's an hour and 15 minutes before, not okay. three hours. I, I agree with that. I have people in my family, other friends, Liv, my wife, everyone's like, we got to go. Like, we need to leave <laughs> at seven. I'm like, we fly at noon. <laughs> it's a 30 minute drive. You don't know what can happen. I'm like, you're right. The cricks in my neck that I'm going to get from sitting in a plastic chair <laughs> for two hours waiting on my plane. You, you're right. You don't know what can happen to my body. It's uncomfortable. No. Give me there an hour, 15 minutes before I walk in. You print your boarding passes, you do your bag, get it all on the plane, go through security, sit down, you have enough time to get Starbucks or go through a quick eat. Yeah. You eat go it and there's like eat. 20 minutes left. Okay, but and I- And then you're boarding. The and good you're thing, sitting on the plane, you're gone. The good thing about us going early, the, the one I wanted to is because we got parking for like $40 cheaper than what everybody else okay, did. So yeah, to roundabout, enough with the flights. <laughs> so he wanted to go super early to the concert. And I was like, okay, sure. We ended up eating Panda, all that. It was good. We got parking for $40. And literally, as we were leaving to go line up outside, we see people changing the parking signs <laughs> in the same lot as us from 40 to 80. It was unbelievable. And I was like, oh. And we were literally parked. It was perfect. We were parked right across from AT&T Stadium. But now, be honest, outside of saving $40 and paying half for parking, did it not suck waiting to get inside? Yeah, it was so hot. Because it was my, unbelievably okay, my, hot. My whole idea, right? Why do I have to go sit in line when my spot is guaranteed? If it's a first come, first serve, of course. If it's a standing room only and you can get as close as you want or as far as you want based on, of course. My seat is paid for. That is my seat. If anyone is in that seat, I show my <laughs> ticket, get up. Okay, my So I can show five minutes before they start. Or I can be sitting there like we were an hour and 20 minutes. This was my this rationale. Obviously, with no service. <laughs> my rationale. Okay, not my bad. You use cricket. Okay, I have Verizon. I have Verizon too. I had service. I got Verizon too. I got service. My phone's better. Whose phone's better? Yours. It weighs 30 kilograms. Hmm. Anyway, so my rationale was that I wanted to get there earlier because one, I have anxiety. Two, because I didn't know 
how the entry process worked. So I didn't know if it was going to be like a long line and then we were going to be out in that line for two hours. My thing was like, if we get there early to the front of the line, then boom, we'll just walk right in. We don't have to wait. We ended up, and I Googled a thing whenever the doors open and the website lied. It said it, like four okay, o'clock or lie. something. Yeah. And, it but, said the doors were going to open at 4.30. They didn't open until 5.30. Yeah, so we were out there in 110 degree weather. We met some fans though. Jeans, like it was... Yeah, I mean, we met some fans, and that was great, but we felt horrible because it was like <laughs> se several different people came up. Oh, keep it up, guys. Love it. Th oh, what did y'all do? It's so funny, all that. And we're like, we were literally just like, ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> like, I was trying to not let the sweat trickle down my back anymore. I was like, I was like, thanks, man. It's great. Oh, Thank speaking you. of sweat, whenever I was in the post office dropping off some merch for some fans, I had bad anxiety, and I was sweating a lot, and some sweat dripped from my pit and hit the floor, and the lady behind me goes, ew. <laughs> That no, I've I'm I've definitely been there when it just rolls down the arm and it just yeah, it's bad. But the the concert was great. We got there. Um, did you know the Botox shots to like remove the sweating? It's not. <sighs> Damn. All right, not, he just like laughed and spit went on his mic. But the Botox shots to remove the sweat is not permanent. You have to get it like probably I think it said like once every six months. Oh, damn. That's kind of frequent. I thought it was like a one... I knew it wasn't a one-time thing. It's not even Lasix a one-time well, thing. Well, yeah, but I thought it was just... I was hoping like once every like two years, maybe. Anyway, back to the weekend and the concert. It was phenomenal. So, what's his name? The first guy? Mike Dean. Mike Dean went first. It was a really weird set. I, I love Mike never Dean, never heard though. of him. It was a lot of synthesizing music and like... If you know, if, for those who don't know, Mike Dean like, is... He's, I was it was like, so loud, too. I was sitting there like, this is crazy loud the people that don't know who mike dean is mike dean is like a hip-hop legend like all your favorite kanye albums travis scott albums he is responsible for like he he that's yeah. him peyton was giving me like the rundown i was like okay cool and, and he went out and it was good it was just like it was loud it was very loud but it wasn't it wasn't like um not music it was music but there, like there's no words like he wasn't talking it was just like it's very synthesizing synthesizing stuff and it was still cool but it was very loud and not everyone was like seated yet so the music was just like Pew, pew, like yeah. bounce, like sound waves were just going everywhere. And like then they later, had, when in when the weekend was going, like everyone was in there, so the sound waves is like hitting stuff and like dying off. This was like, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> wow, just con I was like, <sighs> and the um, I felt like we were getting abducted, <laughs> bro. In the Mike Dean, they had like an optical illusion on the big screen. Oh yeah, and Cam was really like, look at the center of this optical I was like, illusion. Stare at that for thirty seconds, then look at the crowd, and like we were looking at it in the music and everything, and then we looked. And people were like melting. It was like, unbelievable. It was, like, it was weird. But then Snow, the, Snow the came queen, on. the goat, I love her with all my heart. She got on and literally. It was so depressing. People was knew so who sad. she was, but not to the point where I, I thought people were going to be like hype. Like we, as they, they came should. Out, two of the tallest people in the entire building. She comes out. We're like, woo, go Snow. Da -da -da, saying all this stuff. Everyone around us is like. That lady in front of us was like, who's Snow? Yeah, I was like, oh, like, oh God. But there's one girl, she like made up for it, like front yeah. right, and she was like jamming her heart out. And yeah. we were like, it's we fun seeing like other people enjoy it too. But yeah, so we uh, rocked out pretty much to every song yep. Snow sang. I was just like, oh, she's playing her bangers. It's all good. Then, so this is the other part. Again, never been to like a full-blown real concert, stadium tour concert. So Snow ends... How long was it until the weekend got on? Like two hours. It was, okay, <laughs> obviously that's an exaggeration, but without exaggeration. I mean, I cannot even make this up. We were sitting there for probably legit, I'd say 45 it's longer than that. to close to an hour I think it was before over an the hour. weekend came out. And Snow had no stage presence set up, no like objects, nothing to break mm -hmm. down. She was singing on a mic and yeah. just controlling the stage. All of the weekend stuff was already up. And I was just like, I was amazed. <laughs> like, it was remarkable how long we sat there. And the whole time, the, uh, there's like little background music. There's like, yeah, it was like this um, ambient music. And it was just like, <laughs> yeah, so then, so every like 10 minutes, like a different, like ambient music track would come on. And people thought that was the weekend you coming out. This shit out so of it would be like, and people were like, "Woo!" And they started cheering, and we're like, <laughs> "By the eighth nothing. time, we're like, stop cheering! He's yeah, not coming." Pull yet. the phone back out. 
it goes back to the just whatever. And then it was and then everyone, oh, it's him, and nothing, nothing again. And we were just like, oh, it was long. But it's it's one of those things. The second, like the literal second, it was the real time. Everyone up on their feet could care less that they just sat there for an hour, and it was a crazy experience. Like, it it was crazy. It was just it, an experience. It, like it wasn't a concert. Exact. It That's was a perfect full to- blown. I w- experience. I would say it was like a, like you're going to theater. It was like a musical almost. Yeah, it was insane. Like I did, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Obviously, fourth time saying it, my first time, <laughs> but, but also with Abel and like his weird, not in a rude way, but weird artistic, like, artistic weird <laughs> uh, background and how he illustrates his music and in I mean, Dallas. So he, yeah. Oh, so he came out the first song with uh, Alone Again. Alone Again. And in the actual song, he says, uh, I think in Vegas. In Vegas, I feel so at home. In Vegas, I feel so at home. So, part of his tour, everywhere he goes, he takes out Vegas and insert city name. And he's standing on top of this building. Yeah, there's buildings on his set. Like, that burned down. That burned down in the middle. It It was a whole experience. But he's standing on top there, and everyone's screaming. He's like, in Dallas, he sounded so like, like a little kid. It was so weird. We just started cracking up, like, <laughs> oh. But outside of that, I mean, he played bangers. And I was telling Peyton, like, when we were leaving, I was like, the amount of things that go into making a concert that good, it's like I can't even understand it. During the concert, we because there's like the uh, these monitors and you can look at it. It was literally like an movie. IMAX movie. It was like a movie. So basically, there was the regular concert, then there's these two huge screens on the side that were um, broadcasting like a different camera view mm-hmm. than the concert, if that makes sense. So like the concert, there'd be all these lights up and everything. And then over here, it's like a 4K crystal clear, different angle of Abel in like black and white. It looked and it like pre-recorded. Looked like a mo- yeah, it looked pre-recorded. Like it was insane. So it was so hard to not like keep looking at those because yeah. that was like magical. Yeah. But the real event, obviously, of course, was... And we had great seats. Like we weren't shout out to Alexis. high up. Yeah, shout out to Alexis. We had great seats. We could see everything. But it was cr- it was just wild. Like it was crazy. I don't know what else to say. And it and I was talking about how it was so well executed. Like yeah. even the choice of songs. Like if I was an artist and I had thirty just banger viral songs, like I'd probably just trial and error and see what like exactly. But it, this was like a it was like a script and I I mean I know it literally is but like yeah. it was perfect and the transitions from perfect. each song like it was cr- it was crazy. Um, but this is what I want to talk about and we'll wrap this weekend thing up here and I'm gonna make it real quick. But like a lot of people whenever they're looking at all this stuff and they see like these people dressed in robes and all this and like like it, how Peyton used to dress <laughs> in the JUCO thing with the, <laughs> he looked like a druid. That's a, that's how the concert started. Twenty probably like twenty twenty five. Yeah females in red pure red robes head to toe walking super slow like crips like they were guarding a not crip but crypt crypt Crypts. like they were guarding a tomb or yeah something. like it was it was and there was some flames so real quick you were going from like hey it's like oh oh, <laughs> oh let me but i want to explain was, that because like i obviously like i'm a huge like weekend fan and i can get into like the, the deep intricacies of it but we're not gonna spend the whole podcast talking about this but um if you know After Hours, the album, the music videos was like a movie, yeah, right? It was, it was a storyline. The concert went with that storyline. Okay. And those red druid women are part of Don FM. So in the Sacrifice music video, so basically After Hours is him separating Abel in the weekend and he's like falling into this like hollywood lifestyle and like having to you know give up all your stuff and all this and your soul exactly that's that's what the (laughs) but it's like an artistic like thing it's not like abel's feeling that way it's like he's putting this play together and he uh and so in he ends up just falling into this the weekend like abel's dead and and then you go into don fm you go into don fm and he's like okay now i i want to just be able like I don't want to do this like I want to get back to being who I am like I fell into this horrible uh sinful life of Hollywood and all that and that's when that old man character comes in because uh in the first music video is sacrifice and he's 
held up on this thing being sacrificed and he's forced to sing like we don't care what you want to be you're you're the weekend and those druid women are around him sacrificing him basically and the old man is like the dead version of him trying to save abel and and it goes into the concert because the lighting and the songs and like where those women are placed are all a part of the music videos and stuff so it was actually like really smart like i want to go back to the concert and now i'll, I'll know like oh this is all yeah. like specific but i mean you can spend like an hour talking about that but that's that's it yeah it was great though to yes. sum it up it was insane it was a full-blown experience it was wild i thought it was going to end like three different times and he just kept coming back with more songs and it was it was awesome is that what is that what flavor is that it's gatorade what flavor is that um don't cucumber I just lost so much respect for you. What's wrong with cucumber Gatorade? Have you already, have you tried it before? Yeah, I love it. It's my favorite. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> it's my favorite Gatorade. That's your favorite? <laughs> that cucumber Gatorade is like drinking aloe vera with some salt in it. The fact you're drinking that is disturbing. It's so good. Oh my God. God, that is on. That's on par with like coleslaw and other serial killer activities. It's, cucumber Gator is the best Gator. I, I'm about to say something, and it's gonna make you real mad. I, you better I, watch what you're about. That's this. That's insane that you're drinking that. That's sick. I love it so much. <laughs> Can I tell you? Oh I, whenever I was an athlete in like high school and college, I would only drink this. And I used to do something. Would you rather me show you or tell you? Show or show and tell? Is it an act? It's no, it's just it something. Skit? It's something I used to do with this gator. And you can show it to me. Show it. I still do it. Oh my god. What? First off, breathe. Oh. The fact you have to. Sh oh my I god. I swear this is what I do when I get cucumber gator and cucumber gatorade only. Are you ready? Uh, uh. I drink half of it immediately. <laughs> Why are you chucking? That's what I do. I drink half of it immediately. And I don't like the cucumber Gatorade just for the taste. I actually prefer the smell. So I, so if I don't want it to run out, I just... <laughs> oh. oh. I just snip You... It. Sick son of a. You are insane. That's disgusting. I just. I don't want the. There's no way. I, I swear. Like, whenever I was like an athlete and we'd be in the locker room at halftime, I'd just be like, I don't want to waste it. Like, I don't want to drink it you all. You should waste it. It shouldn't be a thing. You should buy it to pour it out. That's. Just, it's Gatorade Zero! It's not even the. Oh my god! Not only. I know that tastes disgusting. Not only is it aloe vera in a bottle liquefied with salt, but now there's no sugar. It's so good. You're drinking medicine. You're drinking like a remedy. You are dis- and you sniff it. <laughs> it smells good. You want to know why I bet you like sniffing it? It probably opens your pores. You, it probably full, it's a full-blown recipe. That you're just sn sniffing. Get that away from me. Get it away from me. Matter of fact, you're only allowed to drink that with your right hand. Get it out of your left hand. Get it as far away from me as possible. No, but I used to literally just like go to the locker room, and then like if you're I like, felt, you know, I felt like a glacier freeze. <laughs> this makes me feel hydrated when I sniff. I bet so. That's like a natural diuretic. Like that's that is the worst flavor of Gatorade that has ever been invented. That is this. Close the cap. And you got zero. I want more. <laughs> you have more. You have enough for a lifetime. My stomach hurts. That'll probably fix it. <laughs> That'll probably help. That's not Gatorade. That's like, oh my God. I can't, that's like an ancient remedy oh. in a bottle. Why is it always me? That's, I, uh, oh, that was, that was funny. Get that away. It's so good. You want to try it? Don't you dare. No. You're about to spill it.
<laughs> Hell, it'd probably clean your couch if you spilled it. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm telling you, that's not a drink. Like, that is not... Like when they came out with ramen, when people were fixing sinks with ramen noodles and like if they had a dent in their car and they put ramen on it, shave it down and fit like, oh, we shouldn't be eating that anymore. Same with that. Same category. That's disgusting. That is like, Gatorade, if you would have sent me some more of this, that I'll is, drink don't it. you dare, Gatorade. That's like, I don't even, I can't even put that in a category. There's like Gatorades, blank tier. The bad flavors, <laughs> blank tier, then cucumber. Cucumber's like the weird little like, like the the runt of the of the litter. That's it's so refreshing. Oh my god! All right. Yeah. I'll put it away. Yeah. Or just chug, chug it and be done with it. I, Cause I that's insane. No, I only chug half and then I sniff the rest. So you don't sniff with other flavors? Just that no, one. no that, just that. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably, oh my God. My that, stomach hurts. Keep drinking. <laughs> I bet it'll fix it. You probably sniff that one because it, it literally probably like, <laughs> you see? You see? That's probably what happens when you drink upholstery cleaner and natural remedies and, and liquidized aloe vera. Oh. That's, oh my God. I would not be. Uh, I have had that, fun fact, I have had that Gatorade twice. Yeah. The first time I had it, Horrible. Waited a couple years in life, mature taste buds change, get a different couple rows in there. I'm like, ah, give it a second chance. Same result. <laughs> so bad. I don't understand. It's it. like beer. It's, it's an acquired taste. Mm, that's not being acquired by me. That You can keep that. If you ever get, if, if we ever get sent cucumber Gatorade, you can have every single bottle. That is a, we can, that's a promise. That's you can a, have every bottle because that's disgusting. Do you ever get dizzy when you park? What? What? If I'm parking the Starship 2000 thing at the carnival, maybe. If I'm parking my Ronda the Honda, no. No, like whenever you're backing into a space and then you just forget and then now you don't know where what you're- What are you forgetting? Where your right and your left is. <laughs> like sometimes you're going back and then you forget which way you were going and then you feel like you're about to throw up. Were you like spiked? Were you drugged before you parked? <laughs> no, it's just like I, you, you ever look back and then you get like vertigo? Nope. And you don't know who rides it. Nope. I just look back, mm, <laughs> cut it a little that way, park, turn off, get out. But sometimes like I'll forget, am I turning this way or that way? And like, where am I? <laughs> you suck. I don't know what else to say. You sniff, you sniff the the remedy Gatorade, and you you get vertigo while parking. Somebody else has to go through this. I can't be the only one no that gets one dizzy else. when you park. It's oh like you, it's God. like you know, you ever spun around five times really fast? When I was eight, it's like that. It's only it's mainly when I reverse park, but I did hit a nurse's car parking going into a Starbucks Ooh. just because I got dizzy. Wait, you hit it with your body or with the, or your car? My vehicle. <laughs> hit it with my Jeep. Did you tell her? I was. How'd, how'd you know it was a nurse's car? Well, okay, so this is what happened. I was I was going into the parking spot, and there's a bunch of people outside the Starbucks drinking and like their food. <laughs> sip, sip your medicine. Get 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 two tablespoons of that. <laughs> they were drinking their drinks and eating their food outside the Starbucks, and I was parking in front of them, and I was trying to go in between two cars that were parked. I got dizzy when I was parking, as I do, and I just, bow, smacked her Honda Civic. Initially, I was just going to reverse and get out of there because I panicked, and I don't like confrontation. You sick person. <laughs> but everybody that was out there instigators they're like oh oh and i was like it's none ooh, of your business in a car ooh. exactly i was like you're an adult it's like go get your groceries where did you say you were Kroger? starbucks starbucks i just feel the back of my knee why do you no it's so not doing it i bet it is moist <laughs> okay ooh, sorry for everyone that yeah doesn't like that word, and so moist. initially like my first instinctive thought was like okay i'm gonna go in reverse and just leave and pretend it never happened which is bad don't do that but i hit reverse and as soon as i hit reverse she gets out of her car and she's like and I'm like, fuck. And she was in a nurse's gown. So I could tell she was a nurse. A, a what? <laughs> gown. There's no D at the end of gown. It's just gown. It's not a gown. God, I knew you said that. See, y'all think. 
<laughs> Y'all think I'm making He can't spell He can't read He can't write I'm just kidding No but he all, he's just throwing <laughs> Extra letters in there Oh <laughs> Gown <laughs> Nurse's gown I'm sweating so much <laughs> I can see it Breathe Alright <laughs> Ooh, sir. I could have sworn it was a gown. No. Get I'm just gonna I'm just gonna search gown and see what even pops up. <laughs> I'm so sweaty, bro. What is gown? <laughs> Mucus produced by the eyes during sleep. It says it's a gummy matter in sore eyes. I spent five years in college and I was a freshman still. <laughs> gown. Uh, eye gown is made of a type of rem, rem, rem. Oh, who can't spell read right now? Ooh, my name's Cam. I'm an educator. <laughs> Which is found in our eyes, noses, and mouth. Okay, so I hit her car. Yeah. She, she was in a nurse's gown. Back to vertigo. You hit her car. And I, she came out of the car and she was in a gown. Yeah, there you go. And she goes like that. And I'm like... You should have oh. went up and pulled up. Imagine, she's like, what the hell, man? You go, uh, what the hell? Just drive off. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, y'all didn't hear Y'all didn't hear that, but he is, okay, he is notorious. Oh, my God. The back of his knees are wet. The back of his knees are wet. The back, the hair on the back of your knees, it's like, it's laid. It's like edges. It's laid down. No, but what I was originally saying. Uh, bro, I'm literally like wet. <laughs> yeah. That was probably the funniest That's like, disgusting. we've ever done. Oh my God. That was the funniest you shit. You are wet. You're sweating. Oh my gosh. That was the funniest shit that's ever been on this podcast. Your 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 knee hair is literally like laid down. It's there's no curl to it. It is wet. Like you went like feel the back of my. I'm knees. not. I would not dare touch that now after seeing that. Just go back to drinking your cactus juice, and let's move on with this. I gotta. I can't breathe, bro. Oh. God, you're disgusting. I don't know what else to say. You are gross. Oh my God! I this is. If you, it felt like I just bathed in sweat. Like I'm so. This is. This is unbelievable. I don't even know what's staying in the podcast at this point. What's gonna get cut out? But this is insane. Oh my God. Stop moaning. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I can't. I'm not saying a word. You you got to recover. Oh, oh my God. Turn around. Turn around. Look at this. You're going <laughs> to... Stand up. Stand up. Turn around. Stand <laughs> up. Oh my god, look. <laughs> That's disgusting. They're laid, bro, like edges. That's embarrassing. Hey, bro, this is the funniest fucking. Um, Bella. Bella, we're gonna call Bella. And let's see how this goes. Hi. <laughs> He's hello, Hi. Bella. You there? Yeah, I'm there. What's up, Bella? This is Cam Payton, still recovering right now from a, a laugh attack, as we oh know, because he's insane. Co you said what? Co-host Cam. Co-host Cam. Yes, there we this, go. This is me in uh, not in the flesh, but uh, <laughs> over the, the phone. phone. <laughs> yeah. But Bella, how uh, how's it hanging? What are you doing? Um, I'm actually looking for a movie to watch on Netflix. Hmm. Hmm. If I were to make a suggestion, I would say, I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Uh, <laughs> Nightcrawler is good. There's another one. Uh, it's called like See Both Sides or 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 Both Ways. Is that the pregnant lady? What? Yeah, I didn't like it. It's a oh. good. I think it's a good movie. 
Anyway, Bella, <laughs> sorry. Here goes Peyton. He has a question to ask you about a story that you began to tell in Discord. Yeah, Bella. So I saw yeah. that you put in the Discord that you were listening to the podcast on a walk and my Manscaped ad popped up. So do you tell the story? What happened? Yeah. So I actually moved um, across the country to school. So I'm in a new neighborhood. Like, I don't know anybody here. And so because of that, I've been going on walks just in another neighborhood. But when I go on my walk, I don't put in earbuds because, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, what if something happens? I need to hear it. So I've been playing the podcast, but I play it on full blast. <laughs> and as I'm walking, suddenly I'm just walking. And I don't know. I probably tuned it out for a minute, unfortunately, because I tune out all our things. And I just got my attention because suddenly all I hear is, is crotch just come from messing with your game? And I swear it was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and I just paused. I just paused. I was like, oh, my God. And I'm like, if there has to be people around, I just felt it. And I look, and I'm in, in this lady's driveway, and I look, and she's just sitting on her front porch. And the way this woman is looking at me, is so, I feel like, and she's an old lady, too. Like, I couldn't even explain this to her. And she is just so traumatized, like, terrified. I don't know. She clearly she, She's, like, I'm, like disappointed in you from what she heard. She doesn't even know you. I don't know what she is. And I'm just, like, looking around. I'm like, can I play this off? It's like, if somebody else, like, is there another car around? <laughs> Nobody else is around. So I just paused there in the middle of her house now. And I just kept walking. But it, this is not the craziest thing that's happened in the neighborhood. <laughs> because I have some other neighbors that do sword swallowing in their back. They're what? They do sword swallowing like America's Got Talent type. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say so sword swallowing? Yeah. Yeah, like the people who swallow swords. I don't know, they take like a big, like, I don't know, knife, like a sword, like a ninja. I don't know. What and is happening? Put it down his throat. So <laughs> I'm his hearing throat. that you live in Narnia. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I don't know. And then, well, that's not crazy either because then I came back. This was another day. I was on the walk and I saw the sword swallower. And I just did another loop and suddenly there was a woman tied to a tree and he was throwing knives at her. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get out. Yeah, go back home to your re wherever you, you are in a alternate <laughs> reality that simply can't be real. You have old like elderly women sitting on their porch listening to crotch discomfort messing up your game. And then you got people throwing knives at people tied to trees and people swallowing, swallowing blades. Swords. Yeah, that's a sick yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, that's, that's insane. I don't know. I don't know. It was just like, I don't know. The whole thing was so embarrassing. I just came home and I was like, Mom, the most embarrassing thing happened like ever. Like, I'm never going on a walk here ever again. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Like, for your safety, don't walk in that neighborhood. No, no I actually walk every day. You could take laps in the backyard. You could take laps, I don't know, but. Just around the kitchen, just run around. Yeah, just uh, stay inside. Stay inside. <laughs> they're throwing knives and swallowing swords. Dude, I don't like, know. I don't know what's crazier. My neighborhood, the Payton's old neighborhood. Oh no! I yeah, think like yours is to, you. Yours, the fact they're swallowing <laughs> swords that might take the cake. Yeah, that's like nuts. you live on set of a circus, and it's it I don't know. We live on Air Force Base too, so there's a lot of like low flying jets. You're in a war zone. Like, that's what. You, what what's you happening? Are, you live in Verdant. I swear, I thought like that was it. I was like, that's it. Like the whole Walmart shook, and then suddenly Doja Cat started playing in the Walmart. Yeah, you live in Verdance. Yeah, you jumped off the ship and you you're trying to get ten thousand to buy a loadout. You you are living in a real life game of Warzone because this is not Holy this isn't shit. real. It's not a real place. Yeah, it's you you <laughs> are you are in the Twilight Zone. That might be one of the most that. unreal things I've ever heard. Yeah, that's insane. So to recap the story thing. for the other listeners and viewers, uh, yeah. a plane <laughs> shook the earth in Walmart. Doja Cat randomly started performing. <laughs> You have people swallowing yeah. swords and throwing blades at people tied up on yeah. trees. And you have elderly women terrified now and slightly disappointed in you because yeah. you're walking and they hear crotch discomfort messing up your game. I, yeah, that's been my life in my new neighborhood lately. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, first of all, well, in my responsibility of that weird story, I apologize. Um, oh, no, you're good. Actually, I knew what it, at first, I was like, what the hell is Manscaped? And then it, I realized what it was because my brother used to live with us, and I was cleaning out the house, as one does before they move, and I suddenly find this packet, and it says ball white. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> Shout, Shout out Manscaped. Shout out Manscaped, 20% off. 
there has to be something there has to be a product <laughs> she's like let me do my research yeah that's funny. That's, that's insane. Like, mom, you need to come in here right now. Look what the hell I just found. And my mom was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> well, are you uh, are you enjoying the Discord so far? Yeah, it's funny, and the Toxic Queen chat is oh, also very funny. God, I'm so scared to see what's in that. I I the thought about joining the other day just to see what y'all were again. talking about, but I'm scared. Mostly just advice. Actually, it's actually it's a it's a positive point. Well, that's good. That's great. Yeah, but don't yeah. don't don't believe them. <laughs> don't I've I've seen what they talk no, about in my no. live streams. No, 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 it's a positive trick. It's a positive trick. <laughs> no, just... Well, Bella, all right. Before we wrap this up, and this seems to be a thing. Uh, I'm always throwing people on like on the spot, but do you have a question? Okay. It can be a would you rather. It can be a funny question. It can be a serious question, advice question, any question that you'd like to give to me or Peyton or the both of us before we uh, wrap this call up? Question? Um, uh, pancakes, waffles, or French toast? French toast is disgusting. Anybody that likes French toast belongs under the prison, oh. solitary confinement, under the bottom bunk, under the bottom bunk. One hour of He's sunlight insane. per day. French toast is amazing. It has egg in it. Yep. What? That's nasty. French toast is amazing. Eggs so is the question, which one's the best or one's got to go forever? We got to kick one out. No, like if you had an option to eat one, where, like if you were at a, like a breakfast place. I go to a breakfast place. Menu, all three of them are 10 out of 10 hits. Okay. I'm so going not one with... Me personally, I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick either pancakes or French toast. Which one, though? That's not the question. I'm going to go French toast. Ugh, you're a sick bastard. You if, know that? If the quantity is all ah, the same and I'm not getting man, chipped from picking crazy. the toast, I'm going French toast. I'm going waffles. What are you What are you, What are you? choosing, Bella? Waffles. Hell yeah. Waffles. No. So I mean, I'm Bella, getting, like I'm getting, this. I'm getting waffles from Waffle House, and that's pretty much it. You ever go to a Waffle House and what? it smells like potty in there? Yeah. Potty, <laughs> cigarettes, <laughs> meat. Yeah. It's it's a it's it that's a strange joke. Yeah, it's it's bad. Well, I've Bella, never been to a waffle house. thank you so much for answering and being a part of uh, this week's pod. Uh, stay <laughs> toxic, toxic queens on. in the Discord. What'd you say? Thank you for having me on the podcast. Of course, of course. We love you and stay safe in your neighborhood, yeah, your yeah. war zone. Stay. Uh, you need to purchase a, a a Tevlar vest. You need you need a shield. It sounds like. Uh, I don't know, maybe. maybe see if you can find a barbarian to like protect you, <laughs> but you don't live in a real yeah. place and we're going to try to get you out of there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Bella. All right, Bella. Thank you. All right. Thank Talk you. To you soon. Bye. Bye. Shout out to... Uh, go ahead and let's see how many comments can say, we need to help Bella. <laughs> yeah. She is in Verdansk. And that's insane. That's why I think that beats like most of the stories I've told on this podcast. I mean, okay. It's funny, but just actually try to picture that before we wrap this up. Imagine you're walking, right? Let alone walking a pet or something like that. You're just walking, getting your steps in, enjoying the scenery. And all of a sudden you just hear and a tomahawk just strikes the tree next to you. And you're really just like... <laughs> and then you look over the fence. And then you fence, look at someone going, <laughs> Swallowing a sword. And then from your pocket is, is ball discomfort, crotch discomfort, messing up your game. I'd go... Ah! I would run home. Like, that, oh, shit. That's insane. So... All right. We're going to try to get you a bow and arrow. Yeah. We got to send her a care package. We got to take care of A couple ninja stars. I might call the military for her. Yeah. Well, they're already there. Yeah. You need a first <laughs> lieutenant at your doorstep. So, I don't know. Bella, uh, we'll work we love on you, that. Bella. But thank you for answering and being a part of this week's pod. Uh, that was a great episode. Honestly, one Woo. of the most hectic, crazy episodes. It was so funny. Yeah. I, the hardest I've laughed probably in my life. Yeah, that was insane. Um, secret code today is happy birthday, Mama Don't Harden. Don't buy Cucumber Gatorade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. It's it's my mom. Uh, it's my mom's birthday. Yep. Don't drink cactus in a in a <laughs> bottle. That's that's what we're going with. No, just kidding. But Mama Harden, you already know my love for you. You're blue eyed baby. You're real baby. We love you so much. Uh. So H B M H. Happy birthday, Mama Harden. That's the code. This week's code. 
Get your good karma. Confuse the casuals. Mom Harden, we love you. Happy 33rd birthday. TikTok, <laughs> TikTok comments. Uh, if a Twitter post is going again, t- Twitter comments. Confuse the casuals. Make sure people know where the codes are coming from. All right. Follow us on Instagram. Join the Discord. Remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. And I'll see you next time. Oh. <laughs>